I used to keep track of what I had going on in my life by updating a physical calendar and writing a hand written to-do list. This method definitely was not ideal because whenever I was out and about, I wouldn't easily be able to recall whatever it was that I needed to be doing if I needed a quick reminder. Fast forward to today where I've taken the time to update the tools that keep my life organized and it really truthfully has worked wonders. A digital calendar and an online workspace called Notion provides me with everything I could possibly need and most likely everything you would need as well. So stick around to find out how an engineer, that's me, uses these tools to keep their life on track. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Reese, and today I'm going to be talking about Notion specifically and just how fantastic of a tool it really is. I've talked about my digital calendar plenty on this channel. It is something that has become one of my most used apps on a daily basis. However, I haven't talked as much about Notion, which equally plays an important role in my daily life. Most people know what Notion is, but for those who don't, essentially it's an online workplace that will allow you to create basically an endless number of unique pages to help you organize your life. Like most modern online workspaces, Notion is very polished and simple to use. For me, it's very convenient being able to update it at any point in time 24 7 as long as i have an internet connection which really is the most attractive feature for me to be able to use it things always pop into my head and come up when i'm out and about so being able to jot them down just quickly so when i come back to them they're there and i have a mental note jotted down written down something i can quickly access and action without having to recall it or think back to whatever conversation I was having where that thought popped into my head. It's truly so helpful, something I cannot put enough emphasis on. I'm so excited that these things exist today because holy crap, it would have been so much tougher back in the old days when online workspaces weren't a thing. So let's take a look at how I manage my workspaces. I wanna preface by saying that I like efficiency and simplicity. I don't like any type of clutter, so I try to keep things as simple as they need to be. They are not expertly coded pages by any means. They are just something that's there that has relevant information. And I just really wanna put some emphasis on that because I know with Notion, you can get really, really technical. For context, I have several workspaces that I keep separated between my personal life and this YouTube channel here. Let's start with my personal life. I have a total of four main pages which branch out into various sub pages. Starting with to do, this is where I list all of my jobs and targets and the progress I'm making against them. I also have an inbuilt checklist which I can add any quick tasks I need to complete. If the tasks are ongoing, I'll add them to the in progress tab to make sure I'm tracking it over time. Nested within this page is one of my shopping lists as well. Now this is not a typical shopping list. However, I use this page to track bigger purchases I'm planning on making in the future. And I like to compare the retail costs to what I actually purchased them for to see how much I save over time. Next up is media. I have four sub workspaces within. I have a list of the TV shows I'm currently watching and links to their IMDB URLs in case I want to read any reviews after watching a specific episode or keep track of when new episodes are being released. With so many streaming services today, it really is hard to keep on top of everything I'm watching between each platform. I also have a movie tracking page where I like to keep any reviews of movies my friends have recommended me to watch. This has been great for opening discussions as I'm able to clearly think out my review after a watch and then talk about it with my friends or the friend who recommended I gave that movie a watch. I also have a page for any silly ideas that I might come back to in the future. I enjoy photography, but haven't had a lot of time to sink into these over the past few years. So I've parked the ideas in hopes that I will eventually get to them. Next up is definitely my favorite page. It's my reading list. I endeavored to read every single day at the beginning of 2021 and have done so consistently since. And I know, I know that I should be using Goodreads. Everyone keeps telling me to use Goodreads, but I love this page. I love updating it whenever I finish a book. So I'm not gonna use Goodreads yet. I finished 31 books in 2021 and I'm on track to read the equivalent for 2022. 
I estimate the page numbers and the math checks out, even though the book count doesn't. And I've actually made videos talking about my reading journey in depth. So if you wanted to learn more about how I set those goals, how I worked through those goals, how I set out to achieve those goals, feel free to watch the videos on the topic. I've linked them down below for easy access and you can watch them in your own time. Feel free to use those resources as you wish. And now would be a really good opportunity to quickly hit that like and subscribe button down below. I really would appreciate it if you could just quickly do that. And finally, I keep a page for notes and random ideas which lets me capture information or passages I come across in the books that I read that really stick with me. They're something I come back to often and it makes me remember the best takeaways about them. And with that being said, let's move on to YouTube. When I first started my YouTube channel, I knew I would need to keep everything together nice and organized. I landed on Notion for the place to have it all captured neatly. Using my video project page, I can keep track of the number of videos I've made. I can easily filter through the titles using keyword searches. I'm able to update their status. And as I complete my projects, I can add any notes or details to the pages for future tracking purposes. I also use the YouTube page to collaborate with others. I'm able to add comments against videos and send updates to the people who might provide input to my videos. This has really kept me focused so far. I'm approaching the 300 video mark and having a great time with it because it has been managed properly from the start. And this is just me scratching the surface. You can add all kinds of things to your pages, such as icons, covers, videos, images, links, the list goes on. You can very easily rearrange your pages, move things from one to the others, send out links to friends who can then copy your pages and actually use them as if they were their own. Overall, Notion allows you to organize yourself in a very convenient way, and it displays everything in a polished, interactive, and collaborative way as well, which is only a benefit considering it's a free to use tool. It is a tool that can be as simple or as complex as you need it to be, and personally, I love it, not sponsored to say that. I really, truly love using this site. I really, truly love using this workspace and it's something that I will continue to use well into the future. So if it's something that sparks your interest, feel free to use it yourself. Hopefully today has been somewhat helpful and insightful. Hopefully my deep dive or my light deep dive has been something that has given you some thought that it might be something you could incorporate in your own life as well. Hopefully you got something out of today's video. And if you did, like I said earlier, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. It really does help the channel grow and I really do appreciate the support. And that's pretty much where I'm gonna leave you for today. Have a good day, have a good week. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.